to get in Driven for Life, DrivenForLife.com. You know, we're talking about motivation this week. And one of the things we talked about circling back to is how habits directly impact our motivation or how they're related. And, you know, we spent a lot of time talking about basic skills around motivation. We've gotten into Maslow and psychology and all sorts of stuff. But today, I really want you to get focused on the basis of it. Because what, what does it take? When you got to be motivated, what are you really dealing with? Are you dealing with your daily routines and things you deal with all the time? Probably not. What you're more than likely dealing with was something different. You know, you got to change something. You got to do something that has some pain involved because change inherently has pain associated with it. So if you're dealing with a change in your life and there's pain to our daily habits, you need motivation to push through. Where you get that motivation is the outcome and you stay focused on the outcome the outcome of that change has got to be bigger than the pain you're going to go through. If it is, you'll be motivated to do it. You'll fall through and make it happen. If it's not, you'll sit your butt on the couch and you won't go after it. Guarantee you. It's that simple. It's pain and pleasure to overcome our habits, to push through the pain, to get to the other side. Seems real simple, doesn't it? So I came out here to a baseball field. It's a World Series going on. I just thought, you know, baseball is such a great metaphor. In sports in general, because in sports, the thing that makes somebody the best, you know, the people in the World Series right now, they are the best teams out there for baseball. They played through their number one and two, however you look at it, and I'm sure you have your favorite team that may not have made it, yet right now they're considered the two best. And they have habits as a team and as an individual person on that team that have made them the best. You know, when they get to the World Series, they're in the game, and the number of changes they are making, changes in pitchers, changes in, in stances, changes in the way they line up against different people, changes in their batting order, changes in the way they talk to each other and communicate, they're changing all over the place. Yet they're so motivated to do it because they're focused on the end result, which is obviously winning the World Series, winning the championship. So they'll do whatever it takes to get to the end shot, and they'll put everything they've got into it. Every single person out there is doing it. In any sports that way, Yet life's that way. When the priority is so high, when it's the utmost important, you're motivated to go through and make the difference. The thing is, how are you gonna stay focused on the end result? And you gotta evaluate before you go in, is that end result enough to push you through the pain, the agony, whatever it is, to get there? And I know there's a lot of great things that come with change too. I'm just focused on the motivation piece. So take a look at that. And through it all, Take a stand and go for it. Get your butt up off the couch. Make it happen. Because that's what it comes down to. You want it? Go after it. So Terry McGrath, Driven for Life, DrivenForLife.com. We'll see you tomorrow. Make it a great day.